Invisible Man, English Notes, Chapter 19. Certain First Principles. Kemp asked for the matter and all he replied was that it's because of his temper. Kemp tells him that everything about him is in the newspaper, all about Iping and Jolly Cricketers, but no one knows that he was there. Uh, Invisible Man was very upset to know this. Kemp tells him that he wanted to help him and intimates him about the breakfast upstairs. Kemp expressed his desire to know more about his invisibility. He tells that he first came on the stuff at Chesil Stove. He was a student of medicine in London before that but as light fascinated him, he took up physics. He told him about complications of optical density. He worked and thought about the matter six months before light came through one of the meshes blindly. blindingly. He found a general principle of pigments and refraction geometric expression involving four dimensions. It was an idea that might had a method by which it would be possible without changing any other property of matter. If refractive index of a substance be lowered with respect to that of air, it seems possible. But Kemp showed his doubts as making a person invisible is a big thing. Griffin asked him to consider that visibility depends on the action of visible bodies on light. Either a body absorbs light or reflects or does all these things. If it neither reflects nor refracts nor absorbs light, it cannot be visible itself. He tells Kim that whole fabric of a man except the red of his blood and the black pigment of hair are all made up of transparent colorless tissue for most part the fibers of a living creature are no more opaque than water Kemp agrees and tells him about his thoughts of microorganism like sea larva and jellyfish. Griffin told him that he kept this all in his mind because Oliver, his professor, was a thief of ideas. He didn't want to share his credit. He got nearer and nearer. That's everything with this chapter.